What is up everybody, this is Always back with the next video of Java JDBC Essential Training Series. This is a part three. And uh, yeah, that's not me actually. That's just a picture I found on the internet. That's kind of cool. So I'm just putting it to make the video a bit cooler. So in the last few videos, we'll learn how to create a database, how to import database to MySQL, how to create a username, and we'll learn how to download a Java JDBC connector for MySQL databases. We downloaded it from mysql.com and we created a program which was a really simple basic program. What basically it did it just connected the program to databases and print out if the program is connected to database. So, so far we have done that, but we didn't really discuss about Java JDBC drivers. So that's what I want to discuss before we jump into learning how to read data from database, how to modify data and how to update data to MySQL database. We need to understand JDBC drivers. There are about four types of drivers available and we need to understand which one to use and when to use. So JDBC drivers implements the defined interface in the JDBC API for interacting with a database server. It could be MySQL database server, Oracle or SQLite, whatever the servers you have. For example, using JDBC drivers enables you to open database connection and to interact with it by sending SQL or database commands and then you can receive results with Java. The Java SQL package that ships with JDK contains various classes with their behaviors defined and their actual implementation are done in the third party drivers. So such as in the last video, we downloaded JDBC drivers from MySQL to use MySQL database servers. Third party vendors implement the Java SQL drivers interface in their database drivers. So they are able to use with JDBC. Now we're going to look at some Java JDBC driver types. Type number one we have is JDBC ODBC bridge driver. So a JDBC bridge is used to access ODBC driver installed on each client machine. Using ODBC requires configuring on your system a data source name that represents the target database. When a Java was came out, this was a very useful drivers because the most databases only supported ODBC access. But now this type of drivers is only recommended for experimental use or when no other alternative is available. The next driver type we have JDBC native API. So JDBC API calls are converted into native C slash C++ API calls, which are unique to the database. These drivers are typically provided by the database vendor and used in the same manners as the JDBC ODBC bridge. This type of drivers must be installed on each client machine. If we change the database, we have to change the native API as well as it is specific to database. You may realize some speed increase with the JDBC native API drivers because it eliminates ODBC overhead. The Oracle call interface OCI drivers is an example of JDBC native API drivers. The next type of drivers we have is JDBC net pure Java. So in this type of driver, a three trial approach is used to access database. The JDBC client uses standard network socket to communicate with a middleware application server. The socket information is then translated by a middleware application server into a call format required by DBMS and forwarded to database server. The kind of driver is extremely flexible since it requires no code installed on the client and a single driver can actually provide access to multiple databases. You think of the application server as a JDBC proxy, meaning it makes calls from the client application as a result and you need some knowledge of application server configuration in order to effectively use this type of drivers. So the last type of drivers we want to talk about is 100% pure Java type drivers. A pure Java based drivers communicates directly with the vendor database through a socket connection. This is the highest performance drivers available for database and is usually provided by vendor itself. If you have watched my first video or second video in which I've shown you how to download a MySQL 
database driver for Java from their own website, which was mysql.com. So that is an example of a pure 100% Java drivers. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. We discussed the four types of Java and that's my buddy saying bye bye to you guys. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video with the uh, reading data from database and modifying data and so on. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Chase.